Why don't any fighters incorporate flying kicks or kung fu style fighting in the cage? This comes from Peter. Okay, it's simple. If you only bring kung fu to the cage, you got to lose. I mean, uh, solely. I mean, th those days are over. That Brazilian jiu-jitsu begin, you know, you could pull off every victory. But that's, those days are over. Right now, you need to know it all. It's very simple. So take your best stuff, what you learn from kung fu, and take that with you, but train for mixed martial arts. And those flying kicks, think about it. You got to fly. You got to jump up. You're hanging in the air. There's no defense right there. If you want to do it right, I would say if you want to do something flying, make a flying knee like Spencer Fisher did. You know, those knees are very, you can control them very good because they're closer to your body. A flying roundhouse kick is difficult to pull off. Mm -hmm. It might, you know, might trick your opponent. At one time it might work, but I, I just don't think so. So, uh, yeah, just keep it with flying knees. Spinning back kicks, that's actually also a good thing. But then a spinning back kick, you use that kind of, that jump you use just to make your body rotate real fast. That's actually how I won my first Thai boxing match. Spinning back kick to the liver. <laughs> oh. <laughs>